tired of listening in America for two things. Indian food is so unhealthy. I'm sorry, I'm women of a mother's age. So one point in my life I was frustrated and you know, I, I had this thing which I did. A wrong thing could be, I don't know, for me it was the right thing. And I said, look at me. I eat only Indian food. Do I look unhealthy? I said, no, still very unhealthy. So if you ever saw men's fitness, I took off the shirts and everything. I said, you know, let's show the world. So you were <laughs> iconic because first chef says that this is my mother's cuisine. How can this be unhealthy? This is what I eat. I'm healthier than most of the chefs around the universe. So why would you say that this is unhealthy? The second was always, it's very cheap. Everywhere you start cooking and people will tell you, Aray, yaar, Indian khana, itna sasta khana, tera itna sasta khana, to kari beshte ka tera kya hoga? May 14th, I sold a meal for 37,600 dollars for one person. It is still the most expensive meal any human being has sold ever in history. It was all Indian, but the only difference was you could sit with President Obama and eat. But it was almost after taxes and everything, it was almost $39,000 for one meal. My point is that we are the only ones who define our limitations, nobody else. Define it. How can you stereotype it? How can you generalize it? Like, yes, the country is still growing, I understand. They are still, country has to go very far internationally. But the cuisine is so old and so intelligent. The use of these spices didn't just come to us from nowhere. The use of these spices have a history of thousands of years. The first written text is 4,500 years old of <coughs> Ayurveda, in which they talk just about simple things of ink, that the benefits of it, you know, the benefits of cumin, the benefits of mustard seeds. Why just India is primarily vegetarian? How come we have very stronger elder generation? If you just eat vegetables, you need heat for metabolism. And you will fall sick if you just eat boiled vegetables every single day. There will be a point when we fall sick, your immunity will fall and your metabolism will collapse. But what happens with the little things of adrak in the food and curry patta in the food? This is all brilliance. That's what I call it. They provide the heat for the metabolism, especially primarily for people who are vegetarian in our country. Meat provides heat for metabolism to work. But meat, it has another dysfunctional effects too. I'm not against meat, not at all. I eat, I believe in healthy eating, everything. But I do feel that little, little things what we're adding to this food has such strong power. We have a soup here, which is amleka soup. It's very unheard of, but it is not unheard of actually. I've had it first in Assam, then I've had it two more places. So that's why I made it to my book. In this book, there's nothing new. There's not even one recipe which is my creation. I'm just documenting the great legacy of our cooking and documenting that which has not been sung. There are few things we sing very loudly about and there are few things which are left in the back burner. So this book sings those cuisines and those people and those <coughs> actual flavors. Amrika soup is supremely healthy in which what we do is I've had this soup with which had olive oil which was had in Bombay and I've also had this soup with coconut oil. Both are extremely healthy actually. उसमें जाएगी आमले को क्या किया हमने दो तरीके हैं आमले को डील करने के एक तो सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग तरीका ये है जो हमारे बच्चे बड़े खुश होंगे बात सुनके पॉसिबल भी है इसको थोड़ा तेल में डालके आप इसे रोस्ट कर सकते हैं अवन में मेरी यूनिक एक्चुअली नेवर बी नेवर डू दैट बट आई डू बिकॉज़ People actually in my restaurant think I'm crazy because I put everything in the middle. They say, sir, you put it in the middle of the child. But I feel that what we do is that you actually, in such high heat, you actually caramelize all the flavors inside. But roasting amla is a great thing too. Roasting amla is a great thing too. Roasting amla is a great thing too. But roasting amla is a great thing too. Now I've given you that this could be used as a problem. Should it be roasted on high heat or just normal medium low? 
मैं जी अवन में करता हूँ आई डू जैसे आप करते हैं अवन में करूँगा डेढ़ सौ में करूंगा मैं पर अवन में करूंगा उसमें तंदूर में करूंगा तो आई वॉन्ट अ चार्ट फ्लेवर Women thought this was so so easy to do. चलो हम भी बनाते हैं घर में. And this 